Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I am your Planetary Defense Commander, Star-Lord Nuthor 7, and I am about to go buy a tire for my car. And I would like to take this time to remind you that Thor News survives and exists pretty much solely alone on your donations and contributions. So after I buy a tire, I'm also going to, tomorrow morning, take it into the shop to get it tuned up a bit because it's got 191,000 miles. And this thing right here now has been raised to a 70% chance of development in the next few days. I think it's 50 in the next two days and 75 or 70% in the next five days. So since I'm in Houston, Texas, if need be, I am getting out of town. This thing would hit by Friday, probably. So I would get out of town by Wednesday night, which would be tomorrow night, maybe Thursday. And I would head to Austin, which is kind of bum around. Um, so if you want to support my being awesomeness as I continue to cover this storm front to back and have been for two weeks, that would be fantastic. So this is Florence right now heading towards the East Coast. And then that is Isaac and Helene. And then over in the Pacific, we got Olivia, which is set to pass over or through Hawaii as a tropical storm. Possible up to 60, 70 mile per hour wind gusts and some heavy rain um, for the area, which got a lot of heavy rain in tropical storm lane. Now, it looks like the Big Island will not get the brunt, but the middle two will. So that needs to be watched out for. And then Hurricane Florence, I still think, is a total mystery. And technically, nobody knows exactly where it's going to go. We just know that it's about the size of a state, and it will bring hurricane force winds for sure. It will bring, whoa, heavy, massive rain and flooding. So look how big this thing is. So... At this point, if you are, and here's the tough call, especially for people who can't afford it very well, like, this is hard to say, that, but if you are like, I would evacuate that area, and then might, you might think that's too deep, but all the rivers up here are flooded, and this is going to have a pretty strong, if it hits it anywhere, Cat 4, Cat 5 strength, it's going to have a pretty significant push inland with storm surge and then anywhere to 40. I would guess 50 inches of rain, though. A lot of people aren't reporting that number. It's something I think is definitely possible. So the models have it ranging anywhere from hitting at 90 to 130 miles an hour. And they have the core of it you know, anywhere from the South Carolina border, the North Carolina border, up to the nose of North Carolina. And since it is 2018 and nothing is normal and nothing makes sense anymore, I would definitely be prepared for anything if you're along the East Coast because the models have been pretty weird as far as what they do with it. Once it makes landfall, they've had it doing a lot of weird stuff. But like half of the options have had it stalling out. Like Harvey, you may remember that hurricane from a year ago here in Houston, which is why I'm going to get a tire because if Invest 95, which is now, they're pretty sure it's definitely going to become a tropical depression at minimum, that heads our way. That'd be bad, but it won't be like Harvey. Harvey last year, it just sat there. And so some of the models have it, like let's just the European has it kind of just watch how it it punches in. So it punched in on Thursday. And then it's kind of going real slow and it's hanging out. See that? And so it is just kind of hanging out in one spot with 70 mile per hour winds. Saturday, still there. And then it moves south. So, this is a pretty scary situation. It needs to be taken seriously. I know that they've opened the roads up, the highways, for people that are in 
automatic or mandatory evacuation zones. But I saw a tweet from the guy who runs Tropical Tidbits, who does all the awesome forecast models, and he said, locals aren't taking this very seriously, or they're just going to kind of wait it out, which is what everyone in Houston did. And that's just kind of the problem. Is, I don't know. I don't think people realize we're dealing with new weather, man. It's like new and improved super boss angry monster weather. And so, if you have friends or family further out west, you can go visit or hop, can afford to hop on a plane and go gamble in Vegas for a weekend or something. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to be there for that. That's definitely a Thor News recommendation of if you can avoid this, I would. And if somehow you can take some of your poor friends with you, that would be great. Um, so... What do we got? We covered there. So yeah, but I mean, look at this thing. This thing is a monster. It is bigger than South Carolina and as big as North Carolina. And like, this is all your models. Pick and choose one, buddy. But what what's weird is I still think up here it's possible. Though they say it's not. But it's like, man, it's 2018. Um, And then, should this drift southwest verify, would benefit Virginia but heavy rain and flooding signal would head south. Um, let me do something here. And I'll be covering this all day. River flooding levels. Let's go right. Okay. Yeah, I woke up. It took me a while. I just burned down in the storm for a bit. Kind of punch drunk. So right now we have 129 rivers flooding. Um, and a lot of them are right above where the storm is going to hit. So the storm is going to hit and push all this water in down here. And then this is where all the rivers are already flooding. And then so, even though people said the hurricanes behind aren't a threat, I'm not buying that just yet. This hurricane season will go another month for sure. And so if the whole East Coast is sogged out, that is a bad deal, man. And so, we got to get buckled in for what is going to be one wild September. As you can see, and then there's another giant wave rolling off it with a bigger wave after it. And then the thing that's got me concerned is, look at that thing. And look how they're almost connected, like on a line. They're binary, and then these two are binary. That's what it feels like. Ain't got to feel like that to you, buddy. But look at this thing. as a convection machine. The models have it going into South Texas. Or one of them does. But look at this. It's a situation all over. That is for sure. So, I mean, that is almost bigger than Florence. And Texas is flooding out as well. Look at these things. We've got a couple of them. And even the pros are saying this is the most active they've ever seen the tropics. And the oceans. And I'm like, yeah, well, that's what I was talking about before season. You'd wake up, and all of a sudden, the tropics, tropics would just be crazy. <laughs> and it's here. See, like, they have Helene. They're like, she's just going to pop straight up like a boner. I'm like, that's gross. Unless it's mine. Okay. That yeah, was TMI, huh? But so I don't believe that. So, like, it's just going to go straight. If it doesn't, if it goes west. But Cranky Weather Guy says I don't have to worry about it. So I'm not worrying about it right now. But we are going to keep our eye on it. I, the rain totals here are underscored, but look, no matter what, Texas is supposed to get a ton of rain as well. Although, and then Galveston has had a lot of flooding. So, this situation is live, and it is go time. You've still got some time to prepare, and you definitely have time to evacuate if you're going to evacuate soon. But, you know, as I've been saying, it looks like that's Jupiter, and these are the moons almost. Although that would be, like, Saturn then? Look at those gravity waves in Manga Nanut, which looks like it will break the lowest pressure record at 873. And so, there's so much to show you guys. So, I would definitely stay aware and stay cool, pay attention. And in my way, since I've covered everything so amazingly, be generous today if you can with your donations because uh, I would like to get my car tuned up 
and uh, have enough to go to Austin, if need be. Um, oh, shit, it does sound fun. Austin's a great place. Yeah, look at all that moisture there. That's a lot of moisture. If that, even if it doesn't turn, you know, like these three systems will be adding a whole lot of moisture. Look at that. Yeah, I would definitely get the hell out of that way. That's a big fireball of water, bro. Absolute fireball of water. I got family in South Carolina. They're like, oh, we're not worried about it. It's going to North Carolina. I can't convince anyone in my family of anything. Which is why I'm not going home for the if I have to leave the ranch because we're all in mourning, so nobody wants to hear about our hurricanes. I'm like, okay, fine. It's my job. Um, I can adapt well, though. Uh, where are we at here? Oh, yeah, this is the other thing I want to show. Kind of let you guys know. How are you doing today? What are you wearing? I always ask that question. Nobody ever answers the comments. Also, um, I'll be accepting applications for dates this Halloween. I want a date for Halloween. Okay, great. You have to be over 21 and awesome. Look at all this, this water mess. And so this would be the thing that would possibly develop and then come and hit areas that have already been super saturated. I mean, it, it's the whole atmospheric river I've been talking about that's just kind of draping over us all. What a crazy day, man. What a crazy day. I feel like the whole world is kind of... They turn themselves into stormtroopers from Star Wars. You know? Except, because you know how in Star Wars they would shoot their rifles but never hit anything? So people have, like, cloned themselves to become stormtroopers. And their political opinions are like the stormtrooper rifles. So they keep firing away but they never hit anything. But I'm bummed. Shh. That was a joke. It just wasn't very funny. <clears throat> All right. So I will be back. I'm going to go get a tire and run by my mechanic and talk to him a bit. Um, I like to give him a warning if there's something coming in. He treats me right. Um, so you guys stay cool and please support Thor News if you can or other people in your area who might be trying to evacuate. Ooh, look at that little system of convection breaking out right before. Oh, and someone said that there was a little bit of wind shear coming off this convection that might inhibit it for a little while. Oh, yeah, and go to Cranky Weather Guy's blog. The dude is a total badass. Uh, I'll leave this link in my box and just go to his latest. He breaks everything down, tons of ways. And then Twitter is the place to go. Follow me on Twitter at, at NewThor. Um, yeah, I must stop clicking links. This whole situation is hard to look away from. But um, Twitter's the place that will give you the up to the datest minutes. Oh, there's one other thing I want to show you. See, look how it just has, this has it mowing over South Carolina. Which is weird. Not weird, it's just like I said, I don't, I don't think anybody knows where it's going to go specifically or what it's going to do. Which makes people evacuating, like, if you evacuate and then nothing happens, you know, people are going to be like, I evacuated and nothing happened. It's like, this thing is so hard to call right now. But here, this one, it shows, watch how this is like the ensemble models. And so more and more models are showing some type of system moving through San Antonio or South Texas, which would hit the areas that were flooding last week. Man, what, did, what is the what is process? What night is it, Tuesday? Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, so everybody stay cool, and I love you. Peace out. God bless.